And he was Muslim. Huh. Byron must have wiped the tire iron. There were no prints on it. But we did find traces of Danny's blood. Oh, it gets better. This wasn't Byron's only run-in with Danny. Six weeks ago, he left Danny with a bloody nose, black eyes, and broken ribs. Danny reported it to campus police, but for some reason withdrew the complaint. Aside from that, any motive? CPD checked both their computers, phone records, and class schedules. There wasn't any obvious connection. What can I say? It looks like a garden variety hate crime to me, but Stone wants us to dot all the eyes. Last time I was at a frat house. Never mind. Come on. You know, you're gonna tell me eventually. You do know there's free porn on the internet now. Whoa, Nagel. I didn't say anything about porn. Mm. Oh, stale beer and something nasty. That's called hormones. We're investigators from the state's attorney's office. Oh, is that like better than cops? It's like different. You're here about Byron, right? Right, look, there's no way he killed that guy. He's a good dude. As in he's a good beer pong partner? Yeah, that's him. All right, so what was his problem with Danny Nasiri? Yeah, why don't we all just get along? Uh... You saying Byron didn't like Muslims? You know what the school does for the towel heads? It's like, not now. They know what I'm talking about. I mean, they're part of the soon to be white minority. Take another look, pal. All Joey's trying to say is that the school bends over backwards for a small group of students. They Whoa. play the damn call to prayer during Islam Awareness Week. It's like, who's not aware of Muslims, you know? Damn it, Joey. So Byron was just doing the majority of favor. Uh, Byron didn't even know the guy. Look, his brother was killed in Kabul. Yeah. When he beat up Danny, he was drunk and, and, I don't know, morose about Bobby. Oh, so it could have been any Muslim. Yeah, wrong time, wrong place. Maybe we can see Byron's room. Well, there's our motive. His brother getting killed in Afghanistan. Hey, you seen one Muslim. It's not what I meant. Look, I'm not saying what those assholes said was right, but we do seem to go out of our way to make them feel comfortable. When I was in uniform, me and McKay, we would drive past the mosque every day. And every day when they saw us, the people would scatter. And one day, McKay buys an extra coffee. He gives the extra cup to the soul dude, Amir, before he can get away. Next day we drive by, Amir's there with a box of donuts. Day after that, Amir brings his wife, Fadi, and his cousin, Saad. Donut diplomacy. Why does Byron have a Quran? Maybe he wants to get to know the enemy. From Adi. Who is Adi? You knew Danny. He was a good friend. Actually, I'm the one who convinced him to drop his complaint against Byron. Why would you do that? Just doing my part in showing that Islam is a religion of peace. Um, I'm a member of Come Together. We promote understanding between Muslims and students of other religions. Byron felt really bad after he beat up Danny. He came to a meeting. That's when I met him. And gave him the Quran. I wanted him to see there's nothing in there about blowing up Westerners. The truth is, I'm sure Byron didn't kill Danny. Because he read the Quran? Because he was with me. All night. He's about to go on trial for murder, Addie. You didn't maybe think to tell someone? I wanted to, but... My dad... He doesn't know about me and Byron. He wouldn't approve. My real name is Adara. I mean, it's Virgin. If he found out... Byron was only thinking of me. He made me promise to keep my mouth shut unless things turned really bad for him. They have. Is there anything else, Addy? We made it the night Danny was killed. <laughs> 